I've been trying for six months to get all this guy. And I walk back and Thomas is back there standing backstage and he said, hey, uh, he goes, I think we should maybe do something together and, write, and maybe write a song or like record something together. Um, I was doing, the, every year I do Good Friday Nashville where we do this for around Good Friday, this night of, of worship for the, for the for Nashville and the whole state of Tennessee, really. It's an amazing night. And I try to find a guest uh, to come up and do something that, you know, that, a surprise every year. And this past year, um, 2019, because 2020 didn't happen, but 2019, I was, I was kept thinking about Thomas Rhett, kept thinking about Thomas, because I was, I, I've known, I didn't know him, but I knew about him. I knew about, he was very vocal with his faith. I knew he does a lot for um, kids who in great need and his adoption, all kinds of things. I was like, this, this guy's got a good right heart. And I just know Nashville will freak out if he walks on stage and not, not knowing it. And we just start doing a song. And I could not get a hold of him. His management was like steel traps. I could not, because I, I didn't know him. And I'm on the on Good Friday. Get to get to that day. He's I I um, had someone else for that uh, night. But on that night, I get there and uh, I'm doing sound check in the afternoon. I walk off stage. My my real manager grabs me. He said, "Hey, Thomas Red's backstage. He wants to talk to you." And I was, oh. I was thinking, what? "What? I've been trying for six months to get all this guy." And I walk back, and Thomas is back there standing backstage. And he said, "Hey, uh, um, what if?" Uh, he said, "I just I'm rehearsing." Uh, down, uh, down the way here at the, and the arena has a little rehearsal spot and I heard your voice over the PA and I thought, man, I want to come meet you and I, your music has meant so much to me for so long and uh, I was like, really? And he said, I said, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of you for a while to do this very night with me and he's like, are you kidding me? I was like, no. And he's like, wow. He goes, I think we should maybe do something together and, write, and maybe write a song or like record something together maybe this is maybe we're meant to meet and i was like i think so the next week he sends me be a light and um he said i got this little idea you want to sing it with me and maybe we get others and and that started this whole kind of thing and then um i started meeting all these other guys and and it was just so so cool and so all those things you know you see god just put things together you 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 that you're not even, you don't even see coming. And so all these relationships are, I can go down the list of every person on the record thing, and it, I have a story about all of them. Like what? Um, and so fun. But yeah, that was a fun project to make. Something I would, we've, again, if you had told me 20 years ago, you'd be making this, this record, I'd be like, what? That's not even, I don't even understand that. And yeah, it was really fun. And so I was just kind of, I was, I tell people with, with, this, with this past album, I just kind of felt like I was in the river, like of where God, the current God was taking me. And I just was like, okay, I'm going because I am not trying to do this. And keep, doors keep opening. And all these guys that I thought were one thing are coming to me and saying, hey, your music was a big influence. And I really want to do something that brings glory to God. Um, I'd love to do it with you. And just I, at the same time, I was like, okay, let's do this. And let's, let's do something really fun and special. And it's been amazing. Fun. Full circle. Did I mean you see it? Where where did we start talking here? Twenty years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're doing something that's not been done. Yeah. And God just does something you yeah. never saw. Like we're we're you're there again. It, there you are still completely right. Completely. And I thought you know, this is this is out of my control. And I it's a it's a, it's a time, whatever God has for this time to do this and giving me these relationships and l let's do this and see if we can. And it's been beautiful. Um, when, I, when we released the Chris Tomlin and Friends, yeah, I didn't know how it was gonna go. I thought, you know, cause I'm, my, all, every record I've made is worship music and this is not. And I thought, well, how's this gonna go? You know, I knew I'd have some naysayers, but like, it was amazing. One of the first comments back to back was, uh, somebody posted, um, I never have liked, um, I, I never have liked country music, so I didn't think I would like this. Um, but I really like these guys, and I'm checking out Center Music. The next comment was, I've never liked Christian music. Wow. Oh, from somebody else. Um, but, so I didn't think I would like this, but I'm, I'm checking Chris's music out. Wow. So to see like those, the worlds coming together, even though a lot of the audience is, is, is the same, there's a lot that, I mean, I, mm -hmm. we've seen our like, from comments to the responses of people grow in such a way of like, people who would never listen to my music have discovered it through, because they like Florida Georgia Line or something like that, you know, and the vice versa. 
So it's been really interesting to see that. 